Get free tech advice for your business from O2 Gurus. Search O2 Business for more. Hey guys, welcome to BTECT. It's Basil here with the Google Nexus 9. And if you guys have had one recurring question about the Nexus 9 in our comments, it's does this support USB on the go? Well, that's what this video is all about. We're gonna illustrate exactly how we figured out whether it did or didn't. First thing you need, USB on the go cable. For anyone who doesn't know what one of these is, they're brilliant. You've got a micro USB connector. That's a male micro USB connector to a female full size USB connector. Stick this into a smartphone Phone with USB on the go port or indeed a tablet, stick a full size USB connector, a flash drive or anything into this side. It will charge up your smartphone, read an external flash drive or even transfer photos from your smartphone directly to your tablet. So it's little wonder you guys want it on the Nexus 9, but does the Nexus 9 support it? Well, first thing you need to do, stick in the USB on the go connector into the base and flash drive in. What should happen is a media transfer protocol type device, file explorer launch or something. No, nothing. So you can't actually access a USB key even when you open up a file explorer like Astro. So that kind of put a spanner in the works, made us think it doesn't have it. We thought we'd try something else though just to confirm that and that is connect an LG G3 to our USB on the go connector. So hopefully what should happen, the G3 should vibrate and some media transfer action should take place on the Nexus. And indeed, that is exactly what has happened. Thank goodness. You can see on the LG G3, it's a media transfer protocol in action and it's scanning all the items on the Nexus 9. So that is brilliant news. What we can do is we can unplug all of that and try and figure out why the USB on the go didn't work with a USB flash drive. Plug the flash drive in, open up the Google Play Store and install on the go Disk Explorer Lite. This is a third party application that should just help Bridge that gap between the new operating system and this USB connector. Does it? Well, it's opened up now, it's installed. We can see it populate the home screen, plug in our USB on the go cable. Nothing's happened. We can open up the application though. It's requesting access to our USB connector and lo and behold, we have our files. We can go back, open up this press pack that we were given, check out the images, audio, video, and brilliant, we can open up the actual press pack. You can see full access to that high resolution image right there, and it looks stupendous on the Google Nexus 9 display. So there you have it, USB on the go, supported in all its forms. Hopefully you've enjoyed this explanatory video. If you've got any questions about the Nexus 9 that you want either explained in a video or a simple comment, fire them in the comments section below. If you did like the video, click like, and if you like BTEC in general, then make sure you subscribe. That's how you're gonna stay on top of all our Nexus 9 coverage. And in the coming weeks, we'll be bringing you our full review. Thanks for watching.